Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we are doing this super cute full coverage glam. I'm really inspired by like the current trends in the Instagram community, just like the soft cut crease, full coverage skin, contoured face, not so much highlighter, but I added highlighter anyways. But anyways, um, yeah, this look is so suitable for everyone. Anybody can wear this and you can mix up the colors of the neutrals that you want. I just did a really nice soft matte cut crease wings but um big lashes but it's whatever you want it to be you guys so just um yeah just enjoy this tutorial and i pray that you guys have been doing good and yeah stay tuned Okay, you guys, so I really wanted to do a real-time portion for this part of the video. This will be the baby hair part. If you don't want to watch this, skip over. I will be sure to list down a time frame of the hair portion of the video as well as the makeup so you guys will know when each one starts and stops. But I feel like baby hairs is something that a lot of people would like to learn and not to toot my own horn, but I really do know how to let my baby hair is good. It's taken me a while to just really get them the way that I like them to be, but yeah. So this is real time. I customize them however I want. The good thing about it is you can make them however you want them to be. Notice that I will kind of like push some back, pull some down, swoop some this way, swoop some that way. It is really just however you want it to be. And for me, for my tool, the main thing is I really like a thin comb because I use the comb portion as well as the end just to kind of lay it down. But the main technique that I do is, so I lay it down with the comb. So see right here, I'm pulling it out and then I'll apply some of my gel or my mousse, whatever you want to use, lay it down that way. And then you just want to get it as flat as possible and then just rake it down. Like literally, hold on. Okay. <laughs> okay, rake it down and swoop just like i don't know how to explain this so maybe you can just watch but it's like i'm going in a a swoop yeah just like a, a baby you or something like that and then for that part you just kind of take the end of the comb and just comb it through the hair and this is my best way to describe it i'm gonna you know just give up attempting to describe it so you just watch this portion okay bye also i customized this wig myself i did make it i cannot even believe i'm saying that because i really did this okay so i just sewed the closure on and then i hot glued the bundles but wow look at the details of the baby hairs it's really starting to come together but this is the ali pearl deep wave hair i will be sure to list the link to the hair the description the links all that good jazz down below but notice how like the details of the hair are really starting to come together like baby hairs change everything it just makes your unit look so much more realistic and i just love it because if you guys could have seen this unit when i first installed it which there's no glue or anything no band in this i just literally popped it on and it stays on me but this is just wow like i'm so proud of myself because this is so bomb so i did use the plucking method when i first made the wig you know where you like kind of just section off the hairlines and just kind of pluck as much as you can to make a more realistic hairline and the more that i wear it i would give a reference back to images that i took of the wig with myself on it as well as on my stand and i just you know kept cutting them and just um editing them until i feel like they looked as realistic as possible but i will do an overall hair review on this wig and let you guys know okay peace
Finally, the Ula Henriksen Banana Bright Banana Bright Eye Cream, and I really do love it. I was using the Kiehl's Avocado Creamy Eye Treatment, but I felt like it was a little too heavy for me, so I think I'm gonna start using that at nighttime, and then just using the Ula one in the nighttime, as well as with my everyday makeup routine. So yeah, you guys, um, I am trying some new products today. And also I'm filming in a different area so you guys let me know if you like this setup I feel like if I had a blank wall behind me that you would be able to focus more on me I am just filming with literally a ring light I didn't bring my soft boxes in this room because I just wanted to see the quality of what it could be without it so yeah just let me know got my nails did yes the foundation I used today was the wet and wild what is this? The Wet n Wild Photo Focus. And this is in the shade Toffee because that's me. So, yeah. Okay. Bye. <laughs> Make sure you comment, comment, like, and subscribe. Okay. So, I'm going to go on with the Morphe Concealer in the shade C3.15. I really want a nice, thick base because we are going to cut the crease with some more concealer as well, but I really want the eyelids to be super opaque, so I really like a thick concealer to do this process. So now I'm gonna set everything down with the Maybelline Fit Me Loose Powder in the shade 20. the crease with the 16 hour camo concealer by elf in the shade medium peach Concealer. I'm so shocked because I've only used it on my face before but this is my first time using it on my eye to cut the crease and it dries down super matte so if you're afraid of like oh my gosh like I have to immediately set it because it's so thick don't worry about it it dries down so fast and I'm just kind of zooming in you guys can see like this may be my new favorite concealer I don't even really cut the crease like I'm really trying to get into the whole like Instagram makeup like a wearable instagram makeup but this works but i'm like i'm just placing it down and looking up because that'll tell me where i need to cut it so that's all i'm doing and i'm dispersing that product with a flat shader brush i'm just gonna go in with my maybelline loose powder again and this is going to be my lid shade. I want it to be really matte and a soft peach color, so you can also use your loose powder.
so since I don't do wings that often I am going to outline the wing with the cream eyeliner and this is the LA girl in the shade soft black I'm gonna outline it with this and then I'll go back in and fill it in with the pigment So these are the wings. Honestly, at this point in life, life is too short to have perfect wings. Like I'm not gonna stress about it. I'm not cleaning them up. One goes out a little bit more and the other one goes up more. But honestly, once I put my lashes on, no one's gonna see it. So who cares? I need is like some bake me lashes or whatever lashes you think will be suitable for your eye. you guys that was the easiest lash application i have ever had in my entire life so i was watching this girl's igtv one day and she just gave all these cute little hacks and she just applied the lash glue to her lash line and then applied the lash you guys i'm telling you i'm never applying lashes the regular way like this is the new way they stuck immediately you know how sometimes you can put your lashes on and one of them will be going lower than the other these are both like wow wow that hack thanks girl whoever you are i don't know your name but thank you okay so i'm just going to put a little mascara on my top lashes off screen and then we're going to begin to highlight the skin and i think i'm going to go in with this covergirl concealer because i haven't used it on camera before but i've only worn it like twice it's really thick like she's thick but i like it and for this type of glam we do need like a full coverage concealer so this is the covergirl true blend undercover concealer in the shade m500 soft tan and then i'm gonna also bake with my maybelline loose powder so i'll be back after that So the CoverGirl concealer dries down almost too fast for my liking. So I'm going to have to mix in some of my, um, I don't want to mix in another thicker one. Let's see. I'm going to mix in, mix in my ColourPop concealer because I know this one is really like, I know the formula is really smooth. And I'm just going to mix some of this on top because that CoverGirl concealer, wow, I don't like that. Like it dries down almost too fast for me. Like and then I tried to put some of my setting spray or some Mario Badescu rose water on top and it legit like did not move. So we're just gonna blend it down now and see if that works. Yeah, that's already better. I can't remember the last time I did a bright under eye like this, sis. But be careful not to get it on the wing because we just did all that hard work. Yeah, that's actually a bomb concealer combo. Um, I like that a lot. The ColourPop in the ColourPop concealer and the CoverGirl CNC. Wow, that's like full coverage, like what? Fine lines. Okay, you guys, so that Maybelline loose powder is still my number one favorite loose setting powder. I really recommend that everyone try it. If you want your under eye to just be really flawless and blurred out, not only that, but it adds a coverage that most setting powders don't. Like I've tried the Laura Mercier, that one works good, but it just doesn't have the coverage that I like. And I also like a tint on my under eye, like I like a yellow 
you know yellow base so um this one is like a peachy yellowy color so i love it but it really adds coverage i was trying the huda beauty one and that one is okay but it doesn't really add that coverage that i like and also her foundation and her setting powder like broke my skin out so i'm not going to be able to use her products as much as i like and i'm not going to really be able to buy them for my kid as well because i have sensitive skin so if it broke my skin out i'm not going to use it on anyone else and i really hate that because i really love that foundation like the coverage and the way it dries down but i have went back to my maybelline super stay and i have found that that is a great dupe for the huda beauty foundation is just the same except it doesn't have that gross scent to it and it has a bomb coverage and it lasts all day but um now we're gonna go in with a bronzer or should i go back into the eyes hold on let's finish off the eyes real quick because i really want my skin to bake I just want this to be really bright and just really full coverage so you can kind of see i'm gonna zoom this in just a teeny bit more so we're just gonna go back to our under eyes and add that bronzer that we did for our eyeshadow and then we're gonna go in with that la girl soft black gel liner and some mascara and then we'll go back to the skin Wow, so just looking up close, that concealer is super, super, super full coverage. It's like, wow, wow. So I am gonna go in with a new bronzer. This is um, a shimmery bronzer. So I'll go for this as like a pre-glow bronze and then I'll go on my regular Black Radiance contour. But this is the Absolute New York Pro Bronzer natural sun kissed radiance with zero effort in the shade dark so far it looks really pigmented like i just oh a lot came off too i just barely tapped it in there so let's see what this looks like Ooh. it may be picking up really red on camera because i still have some of my um, black radiance that's on this brush but um so far i really like this this is nice i don't even know if i want to bake my um cheeks today this is really pretty. I can already tell this is going to go. I knew I was going to like it. And it's not like as like shimmery as I'm just trying to look at the sheen without messing up my baby hair. But it does have a gold sheen in it. Like, oh, I love this. This is really nice. And then skip. Well, that fluff, because <laughs> ain't nobody got time for that in 2026. This is my powder that I used um, to set my face. I'm not going to add any more setting powder because I just already feel like my skin looks so full coverage. And I'm just going to take whatever is left over in the end of it and just kind of angle out the way I want my cheeks to look. And already they look higher like you don't want it to look so so harsh but whatever now, this is just rosy by la girl i need to go blush shopping like this has a sheen to it too so it will be like nars orgasm but a little bit darker if that makes sense and then I'm going to go in with my foundation brush, Beauty Blender, and just kind of blend out over everything in case it's just too, too harsh. I don't want it to be like, don't want it to be too much. I'm going to try out this Wet n Wild 
contouring um, palette, Dolce de Leche. Don't even ask me to pronounce it. But I'm just going to take this banana shade just to brighten up my under eyes some more. I see Amy Morello. Amy Morello uses this a lot, so let's see what the hype is. Hmm. Let's add a little more to see. And I'm kind of overlapping this where the blush and bronzer started. I feel like I can low-key tell the difference. This is nice. It's a nice finisher. I'll start using this on my clients as well. Let's get our hair clips out because we're almost done. These are the best creaseless hair clips. People want to talk about the hair clips now. The Kardashians have been using them for years, but I got the ones off Amazon. And if you wear a weave or if you have thicker hair, those don't work. The best creaseless hair clips are the Conair ones. They are so durable, very thick, and they really keep your hair pinned back. And I'll link those down below as well. I've been using these for probably like a year now. And they literally change changed my life and i'll also list this hair down below as well if you guys want to know what it is i've talked about it before i need to do a hair video because i haven't i'm about to contour my nose with the black radiance contour kit and the shade white since i don't do it a lot but since it's an instagram inspired tutorial like all those girls have their nose contoured and i've contoured my nose maybe like three times in the past couple weeks and i really like the way it looks so we're gonna do that i'm just gonna take this on a morphe m441 brush just not like somebody who just has to have a super blinding highlight so this one works really good at first i didn't think it was like opaque enough but now i'm like no nah, this is a good one i have some texture on my cheek right there from that pimple but i'm just trying to keep it away from that area and then i'll kind of go back over with the beauty blender and just kind of make sure i blend those together and I just want my cheeks just to look a teeny bit more snatched. So instead of baking them, I'm going to go back in with that Wet n Wild Banana Shade. And I'm just going to take a little bit of that and just clean up. And that's like a fast way to do that. And I'm gonna add some to the I'm gonna add some to the center of my forehead. Just right there. It's nine o'clock and I need to get to Chick-fil-A before they close. <laughs> so we have everything on. I'm gonna go in with my ABH brow gel. Hold on. Because I always go back to the brows just to make sure they look good. Because after you put on powders and stuff, they can um, not look as opaque as they originally did when you filled them in. I still like my brows to look fairly natural. Yeah. So now we're going to go on with the clear brow gel. just lays down your hairs and makes them look more like natural i promise you if i ever ran out of hair gel the way this stuff lays down your brow hairs it could probably work <laughs> So I have 
have a new favorite lip liner that I absolutely love. This is the Kiss New York lip liner in the shade Coffee Brown. I love it. I have been looking for a liner similar to Palladio Walnut that I always wear. Palladio is a little bit more of a warmer brown and this is more like of a true brown. And if you guys know something, I'm looking for a liner that is a mix between cork and chestnut, somewhere right there in the middle. So this is the lip liner that we're gonna use today. And then for my lipstick color, I'm gonna use the Stay Satin, what is this, the Stay Satin Liquid Lip in the shade Take a Chill Peel by Rimmel. And then we're gonna go in with our e.l.f. Peach Bellini Lip Gloss. And then just some Clear Q Lip Gloss from the um, hair store. <music> off our look with our morphe continuous setting spray this is the best it's so lightweight but it really is going to lock down everything and keep it in place 